Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to enhance your 360 heads with multiple angle sprites. Now every sprite on your character's head is attached to a bone as you can see here. The sprite bones are not only an indicator of transform position, but also a reference point when flipping the sprite. In order to achieve the best results, make sure these multi-angle sprites have been aligned with a center flip pivot point. You can see the results right here. That nose sprite is switching back and forth. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this tutorial. We're going to talk about sprite transform and deform. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, angle points, uh, the store information, uh, deform, and horizontal sprite switch data. Okay, uh, Transform versus the sprite tab. Uh, sprite mode, mirror, and flip. We're also going to talk about the relationship between angle points in your 360 head creator and the sprite editor in the composer mode. All right, so let's get started with this character on the screen. We have this uh, angry character again from our previous tutorials where I showed you the basics of 3D head creation. And in this one, we're also going to go straight into Composer and we're going to talk about how to switch those sprites. Simple uh, sprite replacement right off the bat. Okay, so with the character selected, let's just go to the 360 head creator. All right, so you're probably familiar with this. You can go ahead and preview. You can see this is what we, left, what we were left off with at the end of the previous tutorial, okay? So it's fairly decent results, okay? We got the eye transform and deform uh, all taken care of and the hair and everything like that was okay. However, the nose uh, or the beak in this case is always facing the screen, which is a little bit weird. We didn't resize it or anything. And that's because we're going to switch the sprites as opposed to resizing it, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So after we take off preview mode, let's go to our left angle point right here, okay? So this is what our character looks like at his furthest uh, left, for this left turn, okay? Uh, so what you can do here, uh, you can, you know, use your, uh, let's, go ahead, let's go right to our layer manager here, and I'm going to select my character's nose. Now notice in the middle of the nose sprite, there is that yellow bone, okay? That is the bone for the character's mouth. And we need to reposition that and change that according to uh, where the character is. Okay, maybe confusing for some people. This character has doesn't have a nose sprite, which is the one right here. Okay, this is a regular character's nose, but it's a bird, so it has the nose and or the mouth and the beak. The nose are the same thing, I guess. Okay, so for this, for the in, all intents and purposes, we're using mouth, the mouth layer for the character's beak. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to switch this sprite whenever our character goes to this uh, towards this left angle here. We want to switch the sprite. Now the easiest way to do that, simply go over to the sprite tab, okay? And you have the option to replace the sprite. Okay, very easy. Again, select the left angle point here and just go ahead and replace in the sprite tab. Now I have all these sprites set up here. I'm gonna select this beak uh, facing to the uh, R here right? and just replace it like that. And notice that it's gonna just replace that sprite at this angle. Now if we preview just like this from here to here, Notice that at the midway point here, it's going to switch from this angle or this sprite to that sprite, okay? And if we uh, make it move it smoothly, you know, just like this, the transition looks pretty good, okay? But what we want to do here, uh, another thing we want to do to avoid this sort of issue right here is we want to adjust the transform position and the layer values of this nose, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go to transform. Okay, now transform, I can move it out a bit like this. And what I'm also going to do, um, keep in mind that when I move my transform, the bone, I'm actually moving the bone, which controls the position of the nose or the mouth sprite here, okay? Um, I'm also going to move the mouth up to uh, above the left eye here by clicking and dragging on the mouth sprite here in the layer manager. It'll be like, it'll look like this. So we have a result like this, okay? Nice uh, transition from here to here. Okay, and again to the right, it's all the same. We're going to mirror it a little bit later on. Okay, um, but what I want to do here is let's go ahead and stop the preview. I'm going to show you the difference between the transform and the sprite position when you uh, move your transform position for your sprite and when you move the actual sprite itself. So when I notice that when I move the transform, say for example, I move it all the way down here. Okay, for some weird reason, I move it down here and I go ahead and preview. What's going to happen is that sprite is going to change actual position. Okay, the bone, it's going to follow the bone. Okay, and the bone's going to go down there because I defined that that bone is going to go down there when I move my character to the right. And of course, when I move to the bottom left, we predefined this in the previous tutorial, so it's going to stay like this. Okay, but um, I just defined it. The left angle point here is going down there, so it's going to do that. Uh, you can see the blue bone is down there. 
So I'm going to control Z and undo that. Okay, and that's going to bring my transform position back up to here. And I'm going to go to the sprite tab. And now if I'm at the left angle point and I move my sprite down, notice that the blue bone there, the, blo the bone for our mouth, is going to stay in the same position. Um, if you're in sprite mode, you cannot change the position of that bone. Okay, you have to move that in transform mode. So in sprite mode, let's take a preview and take a look at what's going to happen here. It's going to boop. As soon as it crosses that threshold, the midpoint there, it's going to pop, pop into that position. Okay, because that's all that it knows. Uh, relative, relative to the uh, bone position, that's where it is. Okay, so it's going to just follow along that whole direct whole way. And that's generally not the kind of result that you're going to want. Okay, so let's move that back up relative to where our, uh, our, uh, no, our mouth bone is there. Okay. Okay, so we've got that set up. Let's talk about mirroring now. So if I'm in sprite, if I'm in the sprite tab here, and I try to go up to mirror, notice the mirror is disabled, okay? Because we're not going to mirror the sprite. We're going to mirror the transform position, okay? That defines the position of the sprite. So we're not we're not uh, mirroring the sprite itself. We have the flip option for that. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So in the transform tab, when I go to transform tab, now I have the option to mirror, okay? You can also use the M hotkey. So I'm just going to go ahead and mirror from left to right. We're going to select uh, mirror target all, okay? We're going to choose transform, deform, layer, and we're also going to choose sprite. And I'll talk about when you wouldn't want to use sprite in the future here in just a moment. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. There we go. And what happens, it's going to mirror the uh, sprite. It's going to mirror everything. And you can see the sprite is the same sprite, it's just mirrored um, on the bone, okay? Now, what that does, let's just move this over a little bit. So it mirrored the sprite on the bone, okay? So the, the sprite, the bone was basically in the, in the middle of the sprite. If we go here, you can see it's basically in the middle. And if we mirrored it from here to here, also in the middle. If we took our sprite, for example, and we pushed it a little bit further down like this, more to the edge, and I went to transform and decide to mirror again and do the same thing, apply. You can see it's mirrored onto that bone onto the right hand side. So the bone will be, the sprite will be, be positioned relative to the bone right here. Okay, this blue little cross. So just here you can see right there and there you can see right there. Now you would, normally wouldn't want to do this. So let's go ahead and position it like a little bit better. Um, transform, uh, whoops, I'm going to just control Z that and uh, move my sprite a little bit further in. So I'm just going to probably move the sprite to about here. Actually, maybe about here. Transform, just over here. There we go. That should be a good result. And I'm going to mirror one more time. We're also going to mirror the sprite. And you can see, we can just, all we need to do now is go to the sprite and flip it. Okay, so I'm going to go to sprite mode and flip it. Now, again, this may require some, you know, transform adjustments as well, or sprite adjustments for the position here. So we'll just go ahead and do that, something similar to this. Go like that. We can compare the two. And then we can just go ahead and preview and get this result right here. Okay, so nice smooth transition from one point to the next. Okay, so just keep in mind that mirror is for transform position and flip is for sprites if you want to flip the sprite. And I'll show you a better example of flipping in just a moment here. Okay, so we have this nice smooth transition from here to here. Okay, and that's the result that we want. And we also want to flip that hair as well. Okay, so I'm going to go transform for my character's uh, hair. You can see here his hair is facing this way. Uh, the midpoint, his hair is also facing that way. At the right, let's go ahead and flip it. All right, uh, we can flip the sprite um, by just going to sprite here and flip, and maybe just reposition it slightly, like this, and then our preview will be like, Hoop. so his hair will flip from there to there. Okay, and that's the result that we want. All righty, cool. Let's talk about the diagonal points now. Okay, are these uh, corner points? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the transform, and if I preview, notice that from here to here, his beak or his mouth is going to stay in the same relative position, the same relative angle, which doesn't really make a lot of sense because, you know, in this in this corner point here, his eyes are going up towards the sky there, but his beak is kind of staying the same. So we need to transform that as well. And the way we can do that is just go to preview off here. Let's go to this top corner point here. Let's take that sprite, sprite rooney and let's uh, rotate it slightly towards the sky like this and just slightly reposition it. Something like that, okay? And then if we preview, it'll go from here, and you can see the sprite um, moving upwards like that, okay? However, we want, we want to keep that kind of relative position, so let's go ahead and uh, press the space key to turn off our preview, 
And let's just move it up a little, a little bit like this. Okay. And uh, preview one more time. There we go. That's looking a little better. Oops. Just like that. Okay. Up and down. And then we can do the same thing for the bottom diagonal point here, or the bottom corner point. Now, a good way to adjust this, um, the previous one I didn't do this. So if I'm going to go preview right here, up to here, right here, from here to here, the beak position is staying the same. A good way to, uh, you know, find out what kind of angle you'd want to put the uh, lower corner uh, angle point at is by going to use the onion mode here, onion layer mode here. Okay. So let's take this bottom, uh, bottom left angle point. I'm going to choose onion layer. And it's going to prompt you to select another point. And I'm going to select the left angle point here. And when I do so, it's going to give me that beak. It's going to kind of give me that beak, kind of a half opacity version of the beak where it, where it previously was at this right or left angle point here. That way I can adjust it accordingly um, in my bottom right or in my bottom left uh, position here. So maybe just tilt it a bit more. You can compare it to the position right here and um, go from there. Okay, so that would be a bit more accurate. That's the more uh, professional and accurate way to adjust it. Okay, and then we can preview. You can see right here. There you go. Cool. So that looks a lot better um, than it did before. Okay, let's stop that preview. Now, if I want to flip, if I want to sort of mirror rather from uh, this point to this point, uh, this uh, top left to the bottom or top left to the top right here, notice that we haven't adjusted that position yet. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Let's try mirror um, from the top left to the top right. I'm going to try this one more time. Now here I'm going to have Sprite selected. I'm going to go ahead and apply it and notice that uh, it's, it flips the Sprite and it's totally wrong. Um, we don't really want to do this. So generally what you can do is you can deselect the Sprite when you mirror. Okay, when you mirror the transform, you can deselect the Sprite and it'll just mirror everything except for the actual Sprite position. Okay, so let's control Z and undo that. Okay, so here we have the original. And let's mirror one more time. But this time I'm going to deselect Sprite and then apply, okay? And then it just mirrors relative to the Sprite, okay? And you can see, or without the Sprite, you can go ahead and preview, and you get a result like this, okay? This is what we want. Just like that. Cool. All right, and again, just repeat the same process for the bottom left uh, angle point there. Uh, apply, and we get the result like that. Okay, so now we have this full 360 head, just like this. Good stuff, okay. And you can notice that with the right uh, mouse movements, with the right speed and everything like that, you can barely notice the uh, transitions between sprites if you get your speed correct, okay? So it's like from here to here. Oh, it's looking around and the 360 head is complete. Cool. Now keep in mind that when you do uh, adjust the sprites in the 360 head creator, it also corresponds to your sprite editor. Okay, so the sprite editor is over here. Uh, in your composer mode. If you have your character selected, you can just select the sprite editor and it's going to pop up with all your sprites. Now you have the option here to like uh, add different uh, angle points here. We're not going to talk about that in this tutorial. Um, we can go to the left or rather the right uh, point here and you can see there's our beak that we replaced with. Okay, you can try see this one again um, for all these different expressions. You'd have to have separate sprites for those. Um, for the center uh, front facing, you can see the result right here. Everything is very accurate. And the right, uh, the left side here, our character's left, there's the beak right there. Okay, beak right, beak left, and beak normal. All right, we can close that down. And if we go back into uh, stage mode, we'll give it a preview with our uh, motion key editor here, or face key editor rather. And you can see, oops. There we go. There's the character moving around naturally. Okay, and again, that sprite switching, barely noticeable if you move at the right speed. Okay, and that's about it. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. In the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to add different elements to your uh, sprites, or different elements to your character's head, rather, and have them masked and positioned correctly. Um, things such as feathers or uh, more difficult uh, things to uh, add to your character. All right, so thanks so much for watching. As always, uh, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.relusion.com and our YouTube channel as well for more updates on our new products and tutorials. And I hope to see you in the next video.